Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make sardine cakes, but not just any sardine cakes. We are making sardine kipper cakes. <laughs> That's kind of a mouthful, but I got it out. Thank goodness. Um, so I am using a package of sardines and some natural smoked wild kippers. Now, did you know that kippers are not a fish? Uh, I didn't know that. It's actually an Atlantic herring, which is a little teeny oily fish, um, again, from the Atlantic, and it's been cold smoked. And kippers are like the oldest sort of breakfast food you could get. Um, the English had kippers you always you know in those old English movies you always see them oh I'll have kippers for breakfast they're always in some sort of side dish and they're getting kippers um, <laughs> that is why they're very popular um, over on the east and in England and such but I my mom introduced these to me and I really like them they don't have a super fishy taste because they are smoked so I thought if I combine these two you won't get so much of a fishy taste. Um, of course, they are fish, so it will taste like fish, but it won't be quite as bad as some might think. So we're going to do that. So let's get this fish in the bowl and we will mix it up. We'll be draining the fish first. So these sardines do have the skin, uh, probably the bones too. Thank God they don't have the heads because I would need to stop this video immediately and go buy a different package. Um, so we will be smushing all that in. And let's see what the kippers are like. Oh, oh that was not the best idea. I wanted you to get a good view of the kippers, but um, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's drain those first. Okay, so this is what the kippers look like in the, in the package. Yeah, that's kind of gross. Just a little bit. But it will be delicious, I'm sure. So let's plop this in here. There. It also has skin on the bottom. So it's like that. Okay, so I am just going to smush these together with a fork and blend it really well. Oh, it does have a really smoky flavor. It just, it actually smells really good. And kippers have amazing nutrient value. Um, they have a lot of oil, obviously, because they are an oily fish, which is good for you. They have the good oil. They have great omega-3s, some omega-6s, and the, it ha it has a lot of vitamin, vitamin B12. So that's really awesome. So this is what it looks like when it's all mixed in. And to that, I am going to add one egg. and one fourth cup of pork rinds, but I am not using regular pork rinds. I am using these pork rinds. They have a little bit of chili flavor. A lot of people, when you open traditional pork rinds, you open the bag and it's like, oh, what does that smell? It's not that great. This is so not like that. Um, it's It does smell like pork rinds, but it's not as strong and pungent. So I'm hoping that by adding this brand and this kind, um, you know, it won't taste like, you know, your typical pork rind uh, thing that you make with pork rinds. Um, so there we go. And this is the biggest bowl I have. So that's what I'm using. Um, yeah. And then we are going to add a quarter cup of sour cream. Now I got this recipe from the ketogenic woman um, and I will link it below but she used mayonnaise um, not mayonnaise she used well she might have used primal mayonnaise more of a keto thing but you can use butter mayonnaise as well um, but she had mentioned trying sour cream so I just kind of took that and ran with it and I am trying sour cream. So I'm going to do a quarter cup which I don't have cup measurements right now in the van um, but Four tablespoons is a quarter cup so that's what I will measure out and four okay and you can season it to taste so we'll put some the um, sardines were not salted um, so we can put some of this salt in here um, I also have Redmond's um, seasoned salt 
And so I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there too. Okay, and if you haven't tried this um, and you wanna give it a try, there will be a link in the description as well so you could pick up some of this Redmond season salt. I'm gonna try this on chicken next. I really am interested in trying it on chicken. So now we're just gonna, we are just gonna mix everything together. This is smelling really good. I think the sour cream is gonna do wonders for this dish. I really do. Okay, it is all mixed in. It kind of looks like tuna fish salad, like tuna fish salad. Yum. Okay, so I'm gonna get everything set up and we are going to start frying these up. Excuse the noise, you guys. I am parked at Lowe's to do this. I love Lowe's. Um, huge parking lot, big, nice bathrooms. And if it's raining, you can take a walk in the store in all the aisles of the store and get a good walk in. So Lowe's is one of my very favorite places to go as a van lifer, um, but there is noise. <laughs> so guess what, you guys? My brother got me these wooden shims. So for my, <laughs> I am so excited. So I'm gonna try and get this a little bit more level. This is very amazing and awesome. Uh, there we go. Well, oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh gosh, you guys. Are you seeing this? This is insane. Okay. So, Patty, I am just going to drop them and then lift them down a bit into patties. So I'm just going to get a tablespoonful and kind of form it a little bit and then. Drop it in and mush it down. There we go. There we go. They are in. Now we will just cook those up a bit. Ooh, good color on that. That looks yummy. That's looking really good, you guys. So while I am waiting for this, I wanted to ask you guys, um, do you have any great recipes for sardines that you like to use, con you know, considering they are a superfood? Um, and also, how many of you eat kippers? Do you like kippers? Um, are there any good kipper recipes? Because I have a feeling I'm going to eat kippers a lot more. I do like them a little bit more than sardines, that's for sure. You could definitely see kippers on a pork rind for a yummy snack, especially at night. <laughs> Now, the ketogenic woman did these in an air fryer, so I don't have a lot to go on as far as when they're done or how long to cook them. It's about four minutes a side, I would think, is what we did for the first side, and it's about that now. So, let's see. Ooh. I don't know why I can't pick these up. Maybe this isn't really the best. Let me get another, let me get another kitchen tool. Hold on. Oh, look at that. That's so much better. <laughs> okay, so that looks good. There we go. Awesome. I think they're done. Let me see before we take the others off. Hmm. I think they're done. So I'm gonna plate these up. Let's see. Yeah, yummy. Okay, so here we are, and I am gonna take a bite. Let's see here. Oh. 
Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I've had sardine cakes before. And they kind of sucked. And I said, I don't want to make those for my channel because I don't want to make something that sucks, you know, for the people, for you people that I love. <laughs> but if you use half sardines and half herring, you will not hate it. It will not suck. It, it's so good. And I can see maybe dipping this in. If you do make butter mayo, your own butter mayo, um, dipping in it in that would be amazing, I'm sure. I'm going to dip a little in sour cream. That is really good too. Wow. Especially if you need to get some fat in, in your diet right now, um, make these and have some sour cream or butter mayonnaise with it. Your fat will be sorted. Um, <laughs> and so many nutrients in this little puppy. I will tell you what. I will give this five out of five stars. Seriously. It's so good. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed my little um, attempt at cooking again, and <laughs> I think it went pretty well this time. So I hope you all have a great week, and I thank you so much for watching.